Hi, my name is Ashley and welcome to my first YouTube video. So today's video is gonna be an apartment tour. I just moved out of my house. First apartment pretty much ever. No roommates, just me, rent, bills, and more bills. I'm located in Charlotte. I moved from being at home in Virginia and then going to school in Atlanta. My work is remote right now because of the the panty, the pandemic, the pandemic, the panoramic, but the office is in Charlotte, so that's why I moved. I'm in the South End area, which is like a more young, up and coming area in Charlotte. So there's a ton of apartment buildings that kind of popped up. And I really wanted to have that young feel as like a new adult that wanted to be around other younger adults maybe a little bit older to kind of help to kind of ease the burden of being old i wanted to be closer to the city because as a young person just trying to enjoy you know being a city girl and being close to other places that i want to go and experience when i'm allowed I just graduated college. I'm starting a new job. I lived at home for like eight or nine months because of the pandemic. But yeah, it's a really tough transition in life to have. It's not the easiest thing to go through, but if I share my story, then I feel like maybe someone can relate to me. I know I watch YouTubers or people in my situation all the time to help me better understand where I am, but there's not that many that I found. So I thought I might as well share my experience, my life with you all. I watch a lot of like move-in videos or my first apartment videos and everyone just starts at a different place and I'm showing where I'm starting from. I had to buy all my furniture and decor. The only thing I really had to transfer over to this apartment was my clothes. So it was a very long, process and putting it together and i waited a while to make this video and make a tour because i feel like my apartment's never going to be done i'll link the bigger items in the description i got a lot of stuff and i'm probably not going to link every vase i have in my apartment but for the bigger items like my couch my bed i'll link all that stuff below but yeah enjoy my apartment so this is my bare apartment it's 713 square feet has a kitchen and it overlooks like the living room area. I have a laundry room and that like really sold me on the apartment. This is the bedroom. It's like 11 and a half by 13 square feet. Pretty decent size walk-in closet. And my bathroom that I really did a quick swipe of. <laughs> And this is my apartment currently. It's so homey. It just feels like home to me. And um, I love what I've done with the place. So this jacket hook is from at home. It was pretty inexpensive, but I did have to mount it. This is my laundry room now. I obviously use it for storage. I did move this suitcase into my closet. I got a bunch of candles. And this cart is a lifesaver. So when I'm doing groceries, I just pop it open and bring it from my car. It was about $50 from Dick's and it's gonna be so helpful bringing in my Christmas stuff because I have a ton of big boxes I don't wanna carry. And if you know, you know, okay? These are the Sam's paper towels, toilet paper, just in case, you know, anything crazy pops up. These are Christmas decorations I never put out because I guess the Christmas spirit just kind of left me. I worked up until I left, so that's probably why I didn't feel any different. Along with my other Sam's goods, I got extra Swiffer pads, Tide Pods, bleach, this cute pink toolbox with all my pink tools in it was from Walmart, um, so I really think I'm doing something with that. I hate going to the grocery stores, so buying in bulk is key, and I have extra sheets. So leaving the laundry room, we're going out into the kitchen. First things first, sanitize your hands, walking up into my apartment. I got these placemats from at home as well. You can tell I love at home. This trash can my aunt gave to me. It's a little small, but it's nice for one person because I need to take out my trash often, even if it's not full. I got these bar stools from Overstock. They were perfect. They were very expensive and came in sets of two. What I loved most is that like the studding on the chairs matched the studding on my sectional and on the storage ottoman that I got. And so they were they were just perfect. 
Moving along to my fridge, uh, my apartment came with stainless steel appliances. I do meal subscription boxes, so those are the boxes you see down there. And then my freezer, I just have some greens, pretty boring. The grocery bags with grocery bags in them are crucial to any home. So these are some of my glasses. I'm showing how deep the cabinets are. I did get some appliances for Christmas, so I'm able to put those in the cabinets. This is some Tupperware uh, I was gifted from my aunt. Very appreciative. This I'm using as a pantry. I'm not a big snacker, so it's pretty empty. This is all my plastic ware. It's cute. My mom helped me organize it. And if I don't feel like doing dishes, I'll go down there. Under my sink, I have cleaning supplies, dishwasher pods, trash bags. Down here, I'm keeping some of my mixing bowls. I have um, other baking sheets and a bigger cutting board, but I think they were dirty at that time. No home is a home without a junk drawer. Where are you gonna keep your scissors and hot sauces at? Down here, I'm storing my pots and pans. I've had them for a long time, so I couldn't even tell you where I got those from. Same with my utensils. I've had these for a long time, and I'm missing like half of them. These are more kitchen utensils. A lot of them I got from either at home or Walmart mostly from Walmart. Now this thing here is a garlic utensil. Basically you can like mince it or slice the garlic. I use garlic a lot, so it's a lifesaver. This is a Zwilling blender. Um, a good friend of mine gave me a gift card to William Sonoma and I was able to get this very expensive blender. This is my Keurig. I've had it since like undergrad in my dorm room. I have my spices and then this basket has my K-cups and I can't really see them so it's like a surprise every time I get a K-cup. These little cups I think I got from Dollar Tree to like mix. So this is very much so ghetto. Um, I did not want to buy the big flowers and sugars just yet so I have little Ziploc baggies for my parents house with like sugar and flour but I haven't had to use more than that yet so I got this wine rack from Amazon and if you know me I'm very much so anti Amazon but the same wine rack I found somewhere else for like 30 more dollars and then on Amazon it was just cheaper so I really couldn't help myself I also started collecting shot glasses when I was abroad um, so these are just a couple of the shot glasses that I have on display so this plant came already potted from Lowe's. I know nothing about plants, so I'm just praying it stays alive. The vase is from At Home, and then the candles from Bath & Body Works. And now we're in the living room. So I'm so excited about this room. It took a lot of different elements to get here. So my couch was from Rooms To Go. It's like a couch with a chase on the bottom, so you can kind of lay either way watch tv the black and white pillows came with the couch but i really wanted that green accent i thought that was different so i got that one from at home so i got this blanket from amazon but i have an excuse i went through like three different blankets that were the wrong shade so i just had to try amazon because it was the next cheap option this timber glass table is from rooms to go along with the end table of the couch and also the table that is in my room these two vases were from at home the trays from at home the books are from my parents house and the candles from bath and body works i did get some whole lights um they really do help your tv watching experience at night they're not just for um being whole lights the tv stand was from wayfair but it is all assembly required like just slabs of wood and screws so keep that in mind all the decors from at home now this ottoman is like my baby like it was a splurge buy because it's pretty expensive but it matched the green to the t for the rest of my apartment and it also had the studs i knew i needed more seating and also i didn't have enough room for a regular chair so i had to make something work and you can also open it and i have a ton of the uh, failed attempt blankets inside so it's really helpful for storage and for seating my carpet was from at home it's white black gray and cream um, so I got to play with those colors a little bit and it's also very soft I believe it's a 9 by 11 carpet but if that's wrong I'll put that in the description so this is an example of how you can buy things from different places and stuff not work out 
This lamp that's in this corner is the first thing I bought for my apartment and it has USB cables and I was like, oh, this is great and it's super tiny, but it has sentimental value to me. And I also got this robot vacuum from Fat Kid Deals, which is also linked to Amazon but it's so helpful. I haven't had to buy an actual vacuum and I usually just turn it on at night and it vacuums my whole space. I do have a balcony and there is enough room to put chairs and a table. Because it's been cold, I've been cheating it so I don't have to buy furniture yet. I just have some fairy string lights that I got on a Black Friday deal on Amazon. So this is my desk area. I got the chair online from Staples. I got the desk from Overstock. The decor, other than that candle, um, the candle was from Dollar Tree, but the rest was from at home. That's just like a picture frame with uh, my parents in it. The floating shelves and the pen holder were from Walmart. So here I'm just showing how the cream in the chair just works perfectly with the rug. So happy how it turned out. So this canvas that's behind my couch is from Bria Nicole. She has an online store on iCanvas and her art's pretty popular, but it is black owned. I got these three prints from Amazon. I really needed something green on the other side of the room as the accent color. This I also got from Amazon because this space just felt really empty to me. I know that there needs to be room so that people coming from the bar or the bar chairs, I know they need enough room to get in and out, but it just felt so empty. So I got this from Amazon also. It's like the phases of the moon. Your girl was looking a little rough, but this is a full length mirror in between my bathroom and my bedroom. I also got it from at home, but I kind of want a mirror, I don't know, by the windows. I don't, I don't know. I don't think it'll work, but I might get another mirror to temporarily put it there when I feel like taking pictures or something. This is what I've done with the bathroom. Honestly, I am not an artsy person. Like, honestly, if I didn't have the time on my hands after graduating and before starting work, I would have put like no effort into my apartment. Because the granite countertops were so busy, I had to have a really simple shower curtain for it not to be exhausting walking in there. So I stick with the colors black, gray, and peach, and I did peach mats. I got the artificial plant from at home, and it's like orangish, and then the succulents and the rack I got from TJ Maxx, and the rest of the bathroom materials were from Walmart. I tried to match the hardware of the sink and other hardware with my bathroom equipment, I believe all of my towels are from TJ Maxx also. So I didn't show you all the tub, which is huge. And the shower is big and nice. Walking into my bedroom, this is the cleanest it probably ever is and ever will be. So the bed frame came in a set. So I got the bed frame as well as the drawers and the mirror from Rooms To Go. And what's great about Rooms To Go is they come and install and set up everything. So I didn't have to assemble any of this. Uh, so I factored that into buying it as well. I got the bed set from at home as well. It came with the cover, the shams, and a couple of these pillows, but the other ones were bought separately to kind of fit the, the room. I got the essentials up here so you know I don't go out bad. Got my deodorant, lotion. I have a small mirror for when I do my makeup. I got this face from at home, but I'm going to get another one because it looks a little lopsided with it just sitting there like that. Just some views from the mirror. I got this picture from Wayfair. I'm kind of mad because it looks like I could have made that myself, but all my wall art is canvases because picture frames are ridiculously expensive. And they're not actually expensive, but for what they are, they're way too much money. I got this corner shelving from Amazon, another white blank space I needed to fill. I'm going to put different decor up here, but I really was just trying to fill the space at that point. This wall decor was also from at home. I thought it was so cute. I don't know why seeing my hand point at things is so funny to me. But anyways, this is the other glass end table that came with that set. I'm still trying to figure out what to put there. I'm thinking about putting a big plant over there or on the other side. But like I said, I don't know plants and I keep thinking about whether it's gonna get enough sunlight in the corners, but I don't even know if that matters, so. So I tried something new. I got these shoe organizers and I really do like them, but 
the assembly is a pain like it's just very obnoxious i got them from amazon and just popping them and and locking them and dropping them in the right place was a lot and i think this is like two dozen to so like 24 don't count them if i'm wrong so i keep my hats up here and also on the other side are some dust bags and original boxing for some of the bags i have so over here next to my dirty laundry i have uh, where i keep my hair products they were supposed to go in between the slit in the bathroom where the plant is but the colors just weren't working i got my big headed wig head i got some nailia up here so I found someone on Twitter to mount my TV. Both of my TVs were free to me, thankfully, so that was not an expense I had to think about. These built-in shelves were also a selling point for me. I thought they were so cute to be able to personalize and put um, things of sentimental value in. I got the fake Ivy vines from at home also and cut them up. And my favorite part of my apartment, period, is the fact that my bed lights up. The amount of light is perfect at night like I love it so yeah I'll just let y'all enjoy my apartment Thank you so much for watching my apartment tour. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe to my channel. It's going to be fun. We all have it's going to be fun. We're all going to learn and grow together. Make sure to share the video with someone you know who's like moving out or something. You know, toss it around. Anyways, thanks for watching.